to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Who do we have here today, Jabes? Who do we have here? It's a very special Ross Patterson Revolution. Very special. Oh, is it the specialist? <laughs> oh, boy. Is it the specialist? It's so special. Is it because he's sick or, or do you just not want to sit close to him in general? Oh, no. We never like to have our bodies close to well, each I've, other's I, you bodies. Know, we have history. We have history of have... not wanting to be close to no, one another. No, I, sure. I wanted to be close. <laughs> she, you know, put up a lot of walls. Yeah, as well she should. Barriers. Yeah. I think, oh, I, boy. yeah, I think she made a mistake <laughs> with, you know, those barriers and those walls. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. In the Range 15 universe, we would have worked out. What I, would I, life, I, I want you to break something down for me. Yeah. What would life for me be like? I, I have a feeling you. that, that uh, yeah. What what is life with Jared all my Taylor? friends? Yeah. We, like I would disappear for like eight months. Sure. And then I would reappear somewhere publicly, and they would catch me like pushing a cart with like a salmon colored polo, and I've got like white dockers and boat shoes on. Yeah. And, and this is like, what I've done to you. Yeah. So okay. I, I've got like I'm like all cleaned up. I've obviously been running, like <laughs> obviously, and, obviously, and I'm super excited to tell you about my new shakes that I've been taking. You know, oh man, yeah, you, you have no your idea. Nutra, these, your these things, these things work, you know. <laughs> and I've been doing that, you know, those those contortion bands or whatever they yeah, are yeah. at night. You have like a skincare regime yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like powdery. Yeah, like, you're like doing and stuff super at night. Beat with like a you know a flat top almost. Oh my god. You know, I've got like a sweater over my shoulders and, you know, just talking about the kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, super the excited kids. About life. Oh, yeah. the kids. Yeah. We oh, my joined God. The, we, we, we joined the PTA together. Uh, like, like, they're just like, wait, what? And you what? would just be biding what your time happened? to just like ditch, just like disappear. Yeah. No, no, Inside I think I'm, dying. I'm like fully like sold. Oh, and you're like brainwashed. They, yeah, they don't get it. Like, I completely bought it. Like and then like when they when they really start prying, it's like, man, you know, that must that must be worth it. It must be great. Oh, no. Yeah. She only lets me have sex with her once a year. Yeah. Straight mish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's once a year. I look forward to it. No eye contact. Right, 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 right. <laughs> totally silent. Sometimes don't even know if it's her. No. There's a curtain. No well, noises. Rescue 16 was written. It I was know. completed. And we married, it was tuned we? in. Yeah, I, and I had you that in the movie too. I, I had in. you totally what? tuned in. I, I said tuned in. It was turned in. Turned um, in. Yeah, I was like tuned in. Tuned into what? No, <laughs> tuned yeah. into what? I had him totally brainwashed in that movie. Yeah, right? I was wearing Crocs. You were wearing Crocs. Yes. You were gardening. I was gardening, you were gardening for you. Yeah. I was just like talking shit. You to You lived above. Oh. You lived above the garage at her house. Oh, we were roommates. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. yeah, but we're yeah. together. But you weren't allowed in the main house. Well, no, you, you thought you weren't we were. In the main house, so. I, I was. You have told me that we were together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we live in the same house. Yeah. But yeah. everyone like, else oh, is yeah, like, yeah. we're together. Yeah. Everyone so else like, is like, you're roommates, and you're like, no, 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 no. That's my same roof. Yeah. Yeah. That's my. That's my girlfriend. That is the greatest One movie written <laughs> never. That will never be shown. Well, look, I don't know. I mean, we should just put the script out. People could just read the script for fun. <laughs> there you we go. We could sell the script. Yeah. It's $2 to download it. And yeah. It. <laughs> hey, here it is. Hey, here Here's it is. Here's what was once. Here's what was going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Um, and Because Nicholas Cage. Be, oh, we'll tell the audience what it is. Yeah. Fuck it. It's not going to be made. Um, the, the whole premise was uh, Vandenham gets abducted by child soldiers in Somalia. And you guys have to come back together. To help save him. Right. The only person who knows this type of terrain as well as he does is Gene's dad. Mm -hmm. And it's Nicolas Cage. Now, I raged for Cage. I like Cage. Forever. Totes. Um, don't know if you saw the movie he just signed on for. But what? it is the greatest thing of all time. Um, Nicolas Cage is playing himself in a movie about Nicolas Cage oh. in the 90s. Trying to get into a Quentin Tarantino movie? Oh, yes, uh, can, can it's you hear all me meta. Fraser, 
Um, it is all meta. Are you are you into that, Jared, or not into that? What into Nicolas Cage playing playing Nicolas Cage? Cage? I think that's a hilarious. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's uh, it's so meta. Yeah. That it's which is perfect. Perfect, and he's you like a fantastic. Actor. I mean, somebody wrote that movie. How excited were they when they got Nicolas Cage? Oh well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can't. You know what I mean? Can like, go imagine now. like, yeah. like, hey, you know, you know, the script, the screenwriter is like, hey, maybe he's dropping it off at a bunch of agents. Could you show this? Like, I wrote this about Nicolas Cage's oh, life, man. and then he gets that phone call. Hey, uh, you know, your movie got greenlit. Number one, uh, and guess who we got to do the lead? You're never gonna guess. <laughs> yeah, Nicolas you're Cage. Never gonna guess. Yeah, it's, I mean, because it happens. Uh, when I wrote Searching for Sajak, and then he said no, and the studio said yes, just get Pat on. I was like, oh, well, this is going to be the easiest thing of all time. And nope. then he, f- he fucking said no. <laughs> um, and it was a PG-13 movie. Um, but what do you do when you write a movie like, like Nicolas Cage? What do you do? What if Nicolas Cage says no? You're done. Hey, thanks Not for really. all that time and hard work. Then what? You're, someone, you're else, someone else play him. You could. I guess, yeah. You could. I mean, be weird. look at Entourage. What about it? Fair. I mean, that it was Mark Wahlberg and yes, someone else played about him. Well, Mark Wahlberg. So it would be loosely based on Nicolas Cage's life, I guess. But you know, Nicolas Cage is not interesting I mean, without look at it being. You know what? Well, but here's the thing. You know what's funny? So you take Entourage. The, the thing that I didn't like about it was uh, that guy wasn't cool. No, he wasn't. He was not. Yeah, like, and he was cool. He, he like, wasn't Im- Im- impressionable at all. Knowing like, it was Mark Wahlberg, yeah. right? And that was you his life story. You knew that that dude was fucking networking Slaying his ass. Slaying ass, dude. And just crushing Ripped. Ass. And when they yeah. would like, when they cast the entourage guy, I don't even remember, Grenier or whatever the hell. Yeah. When they cast him in like these superhero movies, I didn't buy it. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, for yeah, a yeah. fucking second, yeah. right? It's, it's weird. It's weird. Now, Vinny Chase wasn't, I didn't like Mm-mm. that character. Now, Californication, Mm-mm. I know the real guy that they base that on. Yeah. And... Let's face it, David Duchovny is. Oh, Duchovny was. He did. That's he, everybody's dream. He was dream. that guy. He, he got divorced that. during that. So he got what? Oh, he yeah. Got he got divorced during, during that, that show. He was, he was like cheating on his wife. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? He, like, oh, yeah. Went, like, he, he lived went it. for it, dude. He lived it. That's awesome. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, he fucking Getting lived it. Getting divorced is sweet. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And what? actually, do you know? I do. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, well, the first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, first yeah. one. <laughs> he was one, like, not oh, so I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, when you, if you burn your hand on the stove, do you touch the stove again when it's hot? Exactly. No. Exactly. No, if it ain't don't. broke, yeah. right? <laughs> we could keep saying a lot, a lot of different things. It. <laughs> don't fix it. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, just hearing. So we, when we walked in, into the studio today, I didn't know you were going to be on the show. Oh, um, yeah. And it's amazing that you are. And I mean, I'm, I'm grateful you're here. I had nowhere else to be. Yeah. But I heard <laughs> Jesse just having laying, the, the worst conversations laying. about your relationships outside. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell the audience, Jesse, what, what you guys she, were actually I, she, talking I about? I think she pinpointed a, a, a weak point. In your dating style. In my habits. So what he said was, which this is not giving away who this person is at all because he does this with everyone. Yeah. But he was like, I picked her up. She was all packed. And I knew minute one, it wasn't going to work out. Now, when you say she was all packed, it's not like I picked her up for lunch or I picked her up for drinks and I knew it was going to be a hard half hour. When Jared picks them up, it's going to be a hard week because he has taken them with sight unseen. Yep. Is going to take them on a I mean a trip, yes. meet this all is, his friends. This is, this is stay in I've homes. I've done this 12 times in the last 6 it's months. It's everyone. Easily. Easily yeah. Actually, yeah, 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 pretty much. It's everyone. Easily to the point where I don't I don't think I I know one of their names. If if you ask me, if you lined them no, up and I mean, said, "Hey, can you name one of these people?" Yeah. Can, can you name? No. You know who went on the cruise? No. We know I know a nickname. Yeah, we know nicknames. Yeah. Yeah. Tra- was it Trash Panda or no Cat Meat? Cat Meat. That's yeah. what, oh, yeah. I thought that was Mermaid something. Mermaid. Same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No idea what her real government name is. Yeah, and she's uh, in he, the gut. She works for the government. Yeah, and here's the thing. <laughs> I can't even tell you like a like a Sandy short for Sandra or something. Yeah, you like spent no, a no. week with her too. I know on a cruise. Yes. Well, we barely saw dinner. her to be Wait, honest. Did she ever go to dinner? No, no she blacked out. <laughs> did you ever go <laughs> to dinner? <laughs> You went to dinner one time. Every single dinner, she was blacked out, and it was the same. I keep I kept hearing the same stories. Hey, that girl that Jared brought, man, she was blacked out by like ten thirty in the morning, and her tit was out. 
<laughs> and it was mm-hmm. always like, okay, cool. And then like I kept hearing it, and I was like, eh, it can't be true. And we saw it at sushi, and, and sure enough, she walked up, and she was like, oh, my God, those rolls look amazing, and just reached in for one, and her tit was out. Oh, we were yeah. in the middle oh, of uh, like yeah. a you know a nice thing, yeah. and uh, I think it was uh, Noelle was like, "You're you wanna just uh, pop that just pop that back pop, in, pop, pop just to pop it up, pop that tit pop back in." in. Hey, yeah. it's, pop, pop, it's pop in international in. waters. And listen again, it was the cruise, and I've we're said on, on the we're on the Walmart you, of cruise ships. Look, I, I, exactly. if you're single, you did it right. I mean, you had threesomes. <laughs> oh yes, yes. You had group sex. Oh and, yeah, and a girl who didn't give a fuck like. And that's key. <laughs> that's key. You oh, can't. Yeah. You can't get away with that. You did the that whole not, fucking not thing, right, dude? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. cruise. That cruise went went right. Because like one of those dinners was good enough, right? Yeah. Like you didn't need to go every time, yeah. and you just really. Not that we were envious, but gosh, a little bit sometimes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah you're yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah. that guy does not have a care in the world. It doesn't no. matter anymore. Well, it I mean, this matter. is this is what the drinking bros want, you know? I. Oh yeah. We we raged at the pool. That Can you imagine day? it was just me drinking a little bit of wine with them? They're like, get oh. the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. What the yeah. fuck kind of cruise ch- is get, this? Getting drinking at the cabin. Chicken fighting. And, yeah, and, yeah. Like organizing chants. I know. Thank God we were there to fight in front of people. Um, drinking a cab at, at one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, just, I have oh, my, alar- my oh, drinking hey, alarm set. Oh, five degree weather. Hello, mm-hmm. everyone. Does Hello. anybody want to hear stories about my kids? The Drinking Brothers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the Drinking Brothers cruise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It would have been real fun if Jared wasn't uh, there. Yeah, we do. We do owe uh, those gentlemen a call this week to see if we're we're going round two. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so, I think we do. I think we. I think we do both. You know, I, I originally had said we should do the camping. We try the yeah, camping yeah. trip or or something like that. But I, you know what? People keep asking about the f- the cruise. It's like let's it was, so, like it was camp- so crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People want that experience. Yeah, I feel like the camping thing would be easier like if we it did want to do both to, like yeah yeah if we wanted to do the cruise and then just like a smaller camp counselor yeah. thing I, all i, I want to do is think dress you need up a as leader like, to it and you know set times and all that thing yeah just no like no no i'm just saying like, like right, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah 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 but i think it would be less money for us to oh, put yeah. on like it just well, be it's, an it's easier less, it's 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 yeah we 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 have to design these different things that we do once a year for different price points. Yeah, cruise so is the most expensive. It's the most you know? expensive. But then we hold something that that families and everything can go to. Yeah, like if you have a tent, if you have an yeah. RV, like yeah. come down. You, you don't have to food, spend five thousand dollars. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Bring some hot dogs. Bring yeah. some beer. Yeah. And live, live, and you're live, good live your to life go. right. Uh, um, so so why the vacations, Jared? Yeah, what? it's not these, va- these aren't necessarily vacations. These are what we're. I just incorporate them into what we're doing. You know, I'm never. I'm never just going to fly somewhere and hang out for a few days. Like if I'm flying somewhere, I'm going to figure out a way to make that work. So if I'm going all the way to like the you East couldn't Coast, possibly just come here by yourself. Is that what you're saying? No, I think that stage is gone, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 But it's just so why not? Why not? Why not have like it's a, it's an adventure. So let's say these you, are all stories. But you get stuck. Yeah, just true. like you said at the top, right? Where you get stuck with the, 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 the like the one girl you were like, dude, I knew this wasn't going to work the second she had her bags what do you do then but i, I i've just, been in that situation before you know like my personality and temper is so mild that it's just like no I, yeah i know it's not gonna work but i'm still gonna have fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so tonight we're like oh like who but, like, can we have thing, come out for the, just a night the thing that i i didn't is that what you th- said the thing about her though and like that one was that one was a specific like I didn't necessarily know right away, like the second I picked her up, it wasn't that. It was like, I start studying behavior patterns right away. And it was like, right right when we got where we needed to go, I was like, okay, I gotta work for a little bit. And like, it was a, oh, I'm, hu- I'm hungry. We need to go somewhere. I need to get, I need to get this. Uh, we need to find a mall. We need this. I need to get, I'm like, hey, I said I gotta work for like, like you could take the car, you can take an Uber, you can take whatever you want, I don't care. Go do it. I got to do this. And it's like, no, I'll stay here and wait with you. And then, and then it's like up over my shoulder. And it's like, God, dude, I just have to get this done. Get away from me. 
That's where I. Oh my god! Skin is crawling. All of this. <laughs> like, all of this starts with so, you should not be traveling with these people. I, but it's funny. It is not. Even though if I'm you've irritated gotta get for shit a few done, minutes, like, it's still funny. How many fucking crazy stories do I have? Oh, was you've got she millions. crazy millions. though? No. Like, did she end up being not, crazy? No, not at all. So the thing, like, I understand the mermaid girl and like those kind of women, because you're like, yeah, it's gonna be a crazy story. If they're just boring and annoying, yeah, boring, yeah. boring and annoying is is both boring and yeah, annoying. It's, both. it's like oh. so. Tonight, do you have anybody in town? Well, we're trying. I'm yeah. I've got plans tonight. Oh. And it'd be weird if just one girl came out, met up for drinks, and went home. Right? You wouldn't even know what to do with yourself. No, you'd have to be like, can can you can we move in together? Or like, how does this <laughs> even work? You just leave at yeah. the end of the night. Like you're gonna freak out. We'll see. We'll see. Man, we'll see. Because we have some some pretty cool guests coming in today. We're not going to say who they are, right? Um, but you're going to bring it just a stranger with. Uh, tonight's I think not you a stranger. Know her too. You know this one. I do know this one. You do know this one. You may have seen her boobs. Boobs. D- Top of Stacey. Yeah. Oh, she coming out tonight. Yeah. That's hilarious. I don't know her in real life. All That's right. great. Well. We're going to get to know her. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to try and get to know her. I You're going to try and she put her on a plane. Hard. Listen, I heard, heard she has a lot in here. You yeah. know what I mean? Just a real big heart. heart. And a, just We've like heard a two brain. different drinking bros say, hey, man, I, I, I saw Top with Stacy out. Wasted. I, I, wasted. Yeah. Yeah. So No, I heard she time. has a good time. I heard she parties and She's, let's do it. Yeah. She looks fun. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fun. That's fucking hilarious you're going out with her. Well, listen, I got to start a long drive on Wednesday. Sure, sure. You don't want to be all uh, tense and bottled up, right? <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Of course. Of course no. You want to be <gasps> loose. You I don't want to get crazy and like. I need a Wilmington girlfriend, you know? I think that. I think that, I think you should. I think that's yeah. what. Yeah, could you yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I have to keep coming out here every that's two weeks. That's what I was hoping that you would like, have. I should, yeah, I should switch all my dating stuff over to just Wilmington. You should. Yeah. Because. That would that would make so much sense. These girls. That would I'm be glad we're coming up with this plan. Oh, so yeah. right Same. now I have it to Iceland. Yeah, well, I I understand mm-hmm. that from a oh, a it's male amazing. Pers- yeah, Reykjavik. people don't people don't know like switch your switch your tender to a different country and oh, Iceland, open I heard up some like, doors. Yeah, I heard the people, guys and girls in Iceland, are so good looking. Okay. It, it hurts so inside. Insane. Yeah, did you know this? No, common <laughs> culture in Iceland is you have sex before you go on the date to make it less awkward. I believe that. Yeah. It's a I've very done that male one time, aggressive. And it was the coolest thing ever. Like, I had been talking. It, it, she had turned out to be a stripper, but I didn't know that she was a stripper. Sure. sure. Um, she was a makeup artist in Florida. Okay. And, like, a really good special effects makeup artist. That's so, code like, for of stripper, course, like, but yeah. in the film world, like, yeah. you, you're like, this, we had hired her a few times. She'd come around, super gorgeous, things like that. And then, like, yeah, I didn't know that she was a stripper until we went on that date, but she did. She showed up. In a really rad car, she had like one of those brand new ch- Chargers. Okay, a Dodge Charger. Yeah, God, strippers love Dodge Charger. Like, uh, and like, I answer the door, and she goes, "Question." Like, we had been talking on Facebook and like texting and stuff like that. I was like, "What?" She goes, "You want to just go in and fucking do this right now before the date and make it less awkward, so we're not just both like, oh, how's this gonna go?" I was like. Yeah. Yeah. Hard cut. Bow, 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 bow. Boom. Right. Now we're in the car and it's like, wait, that was that was actually really cool. And we had was? a blast the whole night. Like we both got fucking blackout because we weren't like, ooh, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. then we took a fucking cab home and fucking did it again. And it was a great day. I see, is it weird? I see you ending up with a stripper one day. Yeah. You're married yeah. to a porn star. Yeah, I mean, none of that bothers me. Yeah, no, saying. I just think you need that kind of but you, temperament yeah. where it's just like, whatever, dude, fuck. Like, yeah. no stigma around it. Well, they, like, they've they're already just seen like, and dude, done the craziest would, shit ever. I would best, like, I think if I do, if I do settle into a relationship, I would do best with a with someone in the porn or cam industry or yeah. a strip, somebody that makes yeah. good money, what they're doing, but also can pick up and leave at the drop of a hat because... 
I need that too. Well, like, the cam industry, you can pretty yeah, much set up wherever you are boop, in the road. Boop, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. And then so you, they, they can, you can just blur your head a out. A beautiful cam redhead. Red redhead? Head, huh? Yeah. That's against, that's off brand, and I don't appreciate it. There's a, there's a redhead have... that lives in Virginia that I'm very fond of. Okay. I haven't you met her. You have a type. You haven't met her? I haven't met her. I'll show you a picture. You have a very, you have a very specific, specific type. type. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. If we go. put up pictures of your last let's just go let's go from the wife huh yeah your dating history from the wife has been versions of that eh. yeah yeah, if you, if you no, that's hair, right. Yeah, if, it, that's, if that that's red was red, a yeah. little bit darker, yeah. what? it would be Same right person. on brand. What? what? Yeah, she, if she if you oh, dyed that black, cute. yes, I told you. Same same person. She's beautiful. Yeah, but if you dyed that black, same person. I same think. person. From your second wife, Katie, on, it's kind of different versions of that. Of that. <laughs> like that. What tattoos? Dark hair. Yeah. Tattoos, dark hair. <laughs> that's that's Pale, much paler it. skin. Yeah. yeah. And the ones that a kind of dark that makeup ended up real bad. Yeah, <laughs> you went off. You went off brand one time, and it was oh man, the yeah. worst this... of the worst. I don't know, Jared. Ah. I don't like to get too into it because of the KGB. Country. I worry about them okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. looking in on me and extraditing me for <laughs> okay, like no yeah, reason. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was very off brand. Yes. That was very off brand. But if you, if you, here's here's what you guys have to analyze you know analyze my dating life like sports you if you look at where i go mm -hmm. i'm always jumping into opposites so i had come out of a relationship from somebody that hated social media hated the internet didn't like what i did like didn't understand you know the being in the in in a form of the limelight or being an entertainer left that and went to the polar opposite of that yeah somebody that that was in that world Left that and went to the sex industry. Like right. I'm always yeah. jumping back and forth, trying these new, you know, like I, categories of women that are like, okay, because 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 when I when I agreed to be in that relationship with the person in the beginning, um, I wanted to see what it was like being with somebody that was so unplugged from social media. The person. Right. No. No. Okay. No. Uh, you know this, this is one. Way, way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this was yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah. KGB. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, I, I, I was like, okay, what? Because cause before that, I was with somebody that was very, very popular yes. on the internet. Yeah. And, and the internet was part of our lives. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And it had to be intertwined. And we had to, every day, it was, okay, how do we outward face ourselves as a couple to the internet? So like I went from there to somebody that didn't do the internet to see if that if if, if that's I would what be you wanted yeah, like, yeah 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 oh wait maybe maybe this was the source of why this didn't work because we both were always doing that and then went from that went to even more extreme of limelight popularity internet as a sole focus of everything and then went from that to uh, I don't know where did I go from there. Because there was, there was something in between the porn star. I just don't remember. In between the porn star and KGB? Yeah. There's so many. Um, there's it, so many. But what, what I like is that you're putting like a fun, lighthearted take on looking, uh, on having a void, an empty hole that you're trying to fill. But you <laughs> inside of your soul and the way that you're making it is like, I'm just like jumping around to different things to find out what makes me happy when really it's well, a giant okay, gaping so hole inside my... No, I've come up. I've come up with a theory, and I Please. I call this my star theory. I love to hear it. Okay, imagine a block of wood, a big block of wood on the table here, and uh -huh. it has a star shape cut out in it. Now, most people, when they when they're in college or leaving high school or in the military, everything like that, like you get somewhere with a career or an education and then you're like, okay, I have to find a relationship now. That's just what's, it's it's like ingrained in us. It's like just we the have piece to that do you it. have like, to and that's like have. The majority of people that are yeah. just like have to. So you go on a few dates here and there and then it's like you, you find somebody that you had a good time with one weekend, you obsess and spend all your time with them for about three months, you move in together super early and then it's just like you you get caught in the motion of now we need to be engaged, now we need to get married. Yeah. What happens is, is you're out there searching for this 
star puzzle piece that you could just drop right in and it fits perfectly. But what you do, most people come up with is it kind of fit and then they just beat the fuck out of it until it got about halfway in and they were like, all right, we're good. Yeah. But five, eight, ten years down the road, that motherfucker pops right back out. And that's why you have so many divorces and problems now is, is you never really took the time to search and find the piece that went in. Now, for me, I'm not going to find this because it's too complicated. I think you, no if you does. go down a list of what I would love or what I would, I would like, I would love somebody that's musically inclined that can play multiple instruments that can mm -hmm. sing that it loves, you know, recording and, and, and making that loves being on camera that likes to make stuff. And like, like, and looks really cute and is fun and funny and writes and everything like that. Like that, yeah, that shape just got really fucking difficult, didn't it? Yeah. And then you also uh, want them to be like weird sexually yes, yes. And, and like yeah, and out like of the box, but be able to take care of kids. Out, like, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. like a girl. So I've modified like the star theory. Now I'm no longer searching for my piece to drop in. I just, I search for the pieces one at a time. Oh. So I found, you know. My top piece. Now I'm looking for left and right and the two bottoms. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's an interesting theory. None of this theory. is ever going to happen. What? Yeah, no, look, it is. it's an interesting theory and it is a way to go about life, right? And there it's are a way. people that, I, like I said, I found the top piece and I explained this whole thing to her. She was like, that's the most amazing thing I've ever heard. I love it. Perfect. Right. Yeah. So the top piece is someone that we know? No, you've not met her. Okay, so anyway, yeah. oh my God. This has got to be one <laughs> I mean, person though, right? Look, what? No, 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 it's, it's one for the different top. different people, so it's like, hey. And then you fill in I all have, the spaces yes, with other people maybe, that like Maybe, maybe the girl that person? I like to travel with us because you guys all like her. She's right. fun. She holds her liquor well. Sure. She's, she's outgoing. She's great. We yeah, have but, not met her yet. No. We have not met I'm her. Just saying, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, so I'm he giving needs someone you like that. the label of the pieces. Gotcha. Yes. Somebody that's a good yeah. travel show, but, sure. you know, show bunny, you know, like. A little Good bit classy, but not really. Yeah. yeah, like funny, fun, like sure. and not annoying. Like, but that person's probably not, you know, into music or sings or anything like that. So I find the singer and, and stuff like that, and I get together with her, yep. and we make cool things. We do duets. We make music together. We film videos, or maybe the video comedian is a different one from the singer that I film videos with and like have sure. fun like doing that. And Oof. What? Sure. I, it's, it's it's a way. It's a way. He, here's what the real shit of it is, right? I think every guy and girl thinks about the same thing of like, oh my gosh, these would be the dream qualities to have in someone. The problem is when you actually meet those people. No, they're not. They Anybody that's sickly talented and sucking one is thing is, is socially fucked. Yeah. Like yeah. they just socially are never, that's why, you know, it's like, that's why I'm not really, really good at one thing. Like I'm kind of okay at a lot of different things. The like, only I'm an thing okay I... piano player. <laughs> well, I don't know. Pretty good compared to anyone I know, but yeah. in the in real life. But I think the problem with that block of wood, that whole thing, is that you should never try and find someone that completely fits into it. You should understand that it's going to be a tough fit. And that's why I think there is divorce. Because people don't realize that blending two completely different people together is A, insane. Well, we've lost. But we've, you can't make them fit into, like, no one is going to We've grotesquely fit. modified the acceptable behaviors and, and social behaviors of relationships in the wrong direction. Too many people feel like when I enter into a relationship with you, I now have some ownership over you. Yeah. Your schedule. You need to report to me. Right. You need to ask me. Like, you, uh, how many times I've heard from some of these girls within the first few weeks, you didn't ask me if you could do that. Oh, motherfucker, this is going to be a hard lesson you learn right now. I'm not asking <laughs> you. Like, oh, motherfucker. Yeah. You, yeah. Are, yeah, yeah, you yeah. are here right yeah. now, and uh, you don't have to be. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I will do whatever I want when I want. And if you want to come along, that's great. But. I just don't ever see Jared like being like he was saying, salmon shirt, khakis. Like, I just don't ever see him even wanting to. He has all the other pieces. He has the wife still. He has the kids. Same. Like, he's not looking don't. right. But like, you don't so, need to and the, settle and that's down. A thing, that's a thing, though. And, and I would think that that is a more uh, appealing thing for some girls out there. It's like, I do. And, and, and I've said this to some of them, too. Like, I'm not looking for 
a a wife. Like, yes, I, have I live. I live with one. She takes care of the house. She takes care of the kids. She takes care of the bills. She she does the laundry. Like, yeah. Guess what? If you come into my life, you just get to fucking have fun. I have you ever considered Nightmare. the Artie Lang lifestyle? I don't know what that What's is. What's that? Um, so he, he was in self admitted. I mean, it was all of this was in his books, but um, he became in, into like prostitutes, and he used to travel with people as well. Um, one of the st- stories he told us about uh, was about the stripper. Um, yeah, and he would call Jersey. her up whenever he was in Boston, basically. Correct. And yeah. then they would kind of travel a little bit, and he'd drop her back off or whatever. And that's kind of what he's doing. I mean, yeah, anyway. I just didn't pay for it. <laughs> yeah. He just so, doesn't I mean, I pay, pay for the trip. But, but here's the thing. So, like, let, let's say Black Rifle sells one day, right? Yeah. Y- you have a big share in that because you're one of the co-founders. Um, you will literally be able to buy anyone you want. Is that a thought at all of like, hey, man, no, I don't think you no, no, I mean, I'm more intrigued. Like, like I, I, I don't know if you guys were there when I was. Oh, no, you weren't. This is this was a conversation I had in Fayetteville. But I am obsessed with invoking emotions. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, for 2020, I want to fall deeply in love with somebody and then watch them have sex with somebody else. In front of me. Right. So we discussed this on Drinking Bros. Okay, yeah, I think I remember. This was a show I, on Drinking Bros. I yeah. want to see what I feel. Gosh. And that's, that, <laughs> you're everything so, you're describing I'm is just so saying. crazy. I want to tell everyone at home, <laughs> I think none it's of awesome. this will work for you as a person. Like, no, you're but it will work car, for him, I think. Like, for him, yes. Yeah. I just have every this other thing. American like, out there who's sitting in We can die car. at any m- moment. We are all on this fucking path towards our death. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, hey, the coolest thing that we were ever gifted was fucking emotions, even though they're pointless. Like, play with them. Why, why go through a roller coaster just like fucking like this? Like you're fucking on the water. No, you can't. It it just depends on how you look at life. How does some of the most creative shit come to fruition? Did any fucking happy musician ever write a good song? Yep, no. And we're always surprised when (laughs) they commit suicide. Vitamin C, uh, you know, one album. Graduation. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big, big uh, But Springsteen. Yeah. Right. Have you ever seen a grown man? You know, Atlantis, I I also want to. He's actually been in a relationship for like 30 years. I want to hurt. uh, I want to hurt a girl as bad as. As Alanis was hurt before she wrote Jacket Little Pill. Oh, by you Dave Coulier? You want to be the reason for... Yeah, I, I want to be, be the, the reason Dave, for a whole album. The Dave Coulier. Yeah. You know it was, uh, it's Uncle Joey from... No kidding. Yes, from, yeah. from uh, Full House. so funny. Isn't that crazy? But it's just like, that whole album was stemmed out of hate. Hatred, yeah. And it's probably close to 25 years old, 30 hey years old. Look, it's... Uh, That's what and I said it's about... Still, Post Malone's albums, It's man. still and from start to finish. You can play Jagged Little Pill to this day. Still great. Fucking 30 years later. 100%. Yeah. Uh, look, <laughs> Post, Post Malone's albums. Yeah. Um, Was that out of... All three of them. If you, if you go through them, it's out of either being picked on, bullied, or relationship issues with really? girls. Uh, over and over again to the point where the last one beer bongs and bentley and all three are great these are three albums that you can just put on yeah. and listen oh, to I'm, them all it, the way through yeah. where you're just like dude there's not a, there's not really a bad song in any of those um the, this on the second one people were actually w- wishing for his misery of like hey man same with adele where that's what like, i was gonna say adele get like, miserable I'm, again. We need yeah this. like yeah. she just got divorced so I'm that's like, what i want to do yeah. i want to i just want to play it's like play toad around. the wet sprocket yeah. right uh, it's like, walk on the ocean. <laughs> I don't know if that was like uh, if I can oh, harvest though. Living like, with you. That's, uh, when that I Ezra. fall in love, I go fucking hard for like twenty one well, no days. Yeah. Twenty one like, days. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, but the but that's best everyone shit yeah. that I ever come up with and write and create in that fucking period where I'm on fucking fire with mm-hmm. feelings. No contest. There was one that you were with that you shut down. I shut down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's She's why I don't oh, like yeah. this person more than any of the other yeah. ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's because you were just... Oh, yeah. She was fucking abusive. And like, uh, no, like it was mentally abusive. Caitlin and, and they, they, they were convinced that, like... I guess I disappeared for a few days or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, She's just keeping him drunk and locking him up. Something like yeah. it's cr- it was crazy. That girl was crazy. There was like no, there was nothing behind your eyes, Jerry. Yeah, you were gone. Yeah. He was dead. We said come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's back. And uh, full force. We have, well, look, we have sponsors. Yeah, we, we do. We do have sponsors. We uh, that's whenever Jerry comes around, we just keep talking forever. I know because like, <laughs> he can just his um, whole 
thing is so fucking fascinating. It is. It is. Because we always say we're like, we don't know who's doing it right. You know, there's people that feel like marriage and we kids. We say this all the time about you But we don't know if we're doing it right. Show. If you're doing it right. Yeah. If my friend that's a bartender and travels around. and 100%. Who's doing it right? Who's I doing don't know. Who's doing it right? I don't know. I don't have the right answer. Yeah. Well, I'll get, I'll get into that when you, okay, when you do sponsors. I will because I, yeah, I, w- I would like to. I, no I have some stuff on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I, fuck man, because I, I was thinking about this too. Like, I, usually this doesn't fuck me up, but somebody put up like, you know, you know stupid inspirational cards and in somebody's stories. Yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck you. I hate anybody who does that pretty much. What? Um, puts up like an inspirational yeah, I don't like it cause quote no, mo- on a Mostly, yeah. especially if you know them, they're full of shit. It's yeah. Just, yeah. 100%. And yeah. I hate it. But one was a friend of mine that just wrote, because uh, he's got kids, he just wrote, you have 6,570 days before your child turns 18. So make every day count. And I was like, God damn it, man. As we're about to go out of town for like three more days. Oh, so, yeah. Because well, I, I want to apologize. I, we used to rage all the time um, hard. But like now with kids, it's so difficult because I feel like if I miss a day, like, eh, I know you'll be my best friend for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? I know the short thing with the kids, though, is like. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know what you're talking about because like five years. I party hard. When you do party, <laughs> you, you don't know, party hard. You know, you know, yeah, you, you know. know. No, James, you don't. <laughs> well, Making when she pizzas. does turn it on, I'm, I've seen homegirl double fist and oh fucking wine God. bottles sitting on the counter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hiccuping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not cute. No, I try not, not to do that anymore, but who knows? Maybe tonight. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I remember the, the, one of the first times you stayed at my house, um, we, we got fucked up and you came downstairs and you were like, hey, man, uh, I just want to let you know, I think your wife put a DiGiorno in the oven and then just went to bed. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Was like, I remember that. What? You and I went, I went and checked the oven and I, I was like, there was a full pizza in there. And yeah. I was like, yeah. she's out cold upstairs. And I was like, oh, yeah. Appreciate that because that could have burned That's the house down. That's how I party. Yeah. Killing people. With the yeah. people. Burning down houses. We party with ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Again, we combined them. Well, we've combined the shows. Uh, did we take it from your mom's house? You bet we did. You, you bet we did. That's that's a great model, and those guys are killing yeah, it. Yeah, they're uh, awesome. And we love them. We're sharing URLs. We're, do, we're doing the whole shit here. Uh, so subscribe on YouTube uh, to Drinking Bros Podcast. We're now on there, and we're working on some other shows to bring you as well. Uh, and we, we also share it. Chief Sponsors. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash Drinking Bros has the best deals on the planet for mattresses currently. They have a 36-month, no-interest, pay-as-you-go program. No one is offering that in the world, I believe, for a mattress. It's like 30 bucks a month. Um, and, oh, shit. And I went through a video of theirs last night. With the adjustable bases, you can make it for a king. You don't have yeah. to get the two splits. I think it's a two-split, but they both go up. But At the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah so you yeah. can plug it in together. Yeah. So fuck. I mean, I would like to get a twin for myself, but... Mm. Makes sense. That's Obviously. just me. Prude, yeah. bitch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> bitch. Yep. Um, if you're uh, a, a member of the military or a first responder in this world, you get 15% off forever. Right now, they've got some Black Friday deals that just went up that are fucking berserkers, dude. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Shablankers. Shablankers. I love that they're making their 750 mils in plastic these days. Because um, let's oh, face it. They're, those are getting uh, Is that my Christmas girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. What's up? That was my Christmas. Christmas? Who's Christmas? I was looking for the person, the detective, and he saw a picture of his girlfriend. My, my Christmas. Christmas. My Christmas. Christmas Abbott? Yeah. Oh, man. Hi. you. I, we can talk about that. You should have went all in. I think we did talk about it. <laughs> Dan and I did talk about it on the show. You should have gone all in on that and just called it a day. Uh, she has her own house, her own life. She seems crazy, too. Not too late. Yeah. You'd be bored in a second. Yeah, you, yeah, you would. Yeah. Carry on. But a normal person <laughs> would have done that. Yeah, uh, well, what are we even talking about? Strikeforceenergy.com. Because he's always loved Christmas. We, we discussed it on the show. Um, I'm a huge Christmas fan. I know. I know. He, you were the one who introduced us. Yeah. Like the whole group. I like so. Thanksgiving, yeah. but she's cool. Well, that's a easy joke. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Strikeforceenergy.com. No carbs, no sugars. So you can put it in uh, White Claw. Get the party started. It's a tasty, tiny little tin pouch. This is it. Boom. Rip it open. Squeeze it into any liquid available. 
It's the fucking jam, man, as far as staying up. Five hours. You're going to need it on Thanksgiving with all the family in town. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com today. You can subscribe to it. Subscription of the month program. Uh, or you can get a 10-pack, 40-pack, uh, or a 750-milliliter bottle. Promo code REVOLUTION at StrikeForceEnergy.com. Last but not least, StraightRazors.com. Jabes. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right. Ooh, that came in hot today. Sorry. That came in real hot today, <laughs> James. Jared's mad now. Real proud of you. That's hearing that Have up you ever close up for with the first Asian? time is uh, huh? it's tough. You're hooked up with an Asian? No. That's, that's, we'll save that too. Really? Because that's another point. Why mm-hmm. not? Racist? Um, <laughs> yes, he is. And so am I. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, go to straightrazors.com today for, um, look, this is the top product for shaving Ukrainian dwarves bushes. Um, we talked about that on Dr. Phil. We've, we have we're a house divided on that, obviously. Yeah, she's 16. No, she is 30 years old. Hit her periods, shaved her pubic hair. And, uh, yeah, she's definitely 30. If you're going to oh, do dude, that. She's 16, bro. I read, no. I read the actual, re- the police reports when she moved into her own apartment. Yeah. That's a grown woman. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I saw the interview on Dr. Phil. So she's 16. Now, Jesse, when you start uh, saying things like that, it makes you seem crazy. She's a dwarf. Dr. Phil believes her. She needs love. She's 30 years old. Get her a straight razor from (laughs) straightrazors.com. That's that's how you shave a bush. Okay. Two birds in the hand is worth one in the bush. Shave it. Shave it at straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION. Bush is coming back, 20% actually. off. Yeah. It should. It is. It should come back. A lot of, a lot of yeah, girls are, are keeping it around these days. Why not? Well, winter, too. It's winter. Yeah, <laughs> winter's coming. It's warmer. You got to keep that thing warm. Yeah. You got to keep that yeah, beef. Clammy's warm. Yeah. Mm, clammy's just got to stay warmsy. Yeah, they do. That way you don't got to heat them up with a curling iron later. So we have uh, Christmas Abbott coming on the show. We We told her, obviously, of, of you know, your love, whatever. What? Mm-hmm. She was down yeah. for the dates. You did? Oh, yeah. She was yeah. down for the dates. Yeah. She she brought up the vacation thing. She was a little turned off by that. Whatever. And She was uh, like, I would go on a date with him. He just keeps wanting to go on like a trip. Yeah, I don't like know. He's I just like, it always has cooler. to be a trip. I didn't know. I didn't know that was a point of contention. I thought it was like, oh yeah, that sounds way more fun than like going to rally for dinner. I just think you should go on one date first, then a yes. trip, and that's but, fine. Yeah, th- in this case, this is some. This is a person I've known for years. Clearly, it's she not... doesn't feel like she knows you well enough to go fine. on a trip. Yeah, she doesn't feel like she knows you well enough to go on a trip. So. I'm just saying. I'll stop the trips. I'm maybe. Just saying. No. no. I no. would definitely no. do that. Definitely I think you need to doing keep it. doing the trips. Yeah. I want, I'm going to Ireland yeah. this next year. With who? I don't know yet. I haven't picked. He hasn't picked a gal. Ireland's a big, that's a big trip. Yeah, it's got to be. Because you be can't get her an Uber out of Ireland. No, no, no. no, no. This oh, one, you could put her on a plane probably. Th- this, won't be yeah. a, this won't be a first timer. Oh, okay. I won't, yeah. Okay. If I'll do going, a test, test bed. Do you go I first class overseas? You have to, right? I don't know. I've never done it. Yeah, you got to go. I think you should. Yeah, you got. If you're gonna do well, it, well, British Air, I will say, like every yeah, but also, every seat I'm, is like first class. It doesn't matter. Like I, you can put me in a box, and I'm just like, okay. I know it doesn't matter to you, to the girl that will matter. So I. Would, oh, he I would, doesn't care about that. Yeah. No, no, no. Definitely not. <laughs> he doesn't. No, 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 no. That doesn't even enter his mind. Is she gonna be comfortable? Definitely Mm-mm. not. Ah, oh, God. Just even talking about this makes me. What? It makes me like palm sweaty, mom spaghetti. Why? Why are you sweating? I, you've been, you've had this right where you've been on. Have you ever gone away with somebody for the weekend and that ends up bad and then yes. you're stuck there for the weekend? Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But to his point, it is a good way to see if somebody's fucking can if hang. you can hang or not. Like, oh, boy, I guess, right? I, guess I mean, so. traveling with anyone, whether you know them well. Or, or not, not is a really huge. Yeah, how, and you so know what? Like, when you were in it, how did you get out of it? You don't get out of it, dude. You just get through it. Yeah, oh, you get through God. it. You get through it. What are you going to get on a plane? My biggest thing is people that like uh, flip out over little plans things. that are changing. Yeah, or yeah. Like because something. I mean, I I get that all the time. You, you will said, see how you said this morning we is. were going to do this. I'm like, yeah, I was just brainstorming. Like I hadn't decided. Yeah, it's not it's a real. Like thing. We could rent a. Hot air balloon. Yeah. Like it could. Wasn't and I, we are. The one that like you seem to hang out with a lot and like 
uh, I think that's her deal. She's kind of down for whatevs. Doesn't care. And plans can change yeah. any minute. Fluid. And she can just. Goes with it like water. I thought one was going to stick because you. she just did not care about life either. Yeah. And uh, I was surprised when that one didn't stick, actually. She's not gone. Well. They're never really gone. You might see her tomorrow. She's dating someone else. You might see her tomorrow? Oh. Uh, we're talking Whoa. about two different people. Maybe we are. Because <laughs> this one's not dating anybody. Ah, uh, this one is. Oh, okay. The one that I thought was like, ah, yeah, all right, cool. Because <laughs> I, we spent some time with her on a trip and uh, very similar habits about life. And I was yeah. like, yeah, all right. This one will work. Ah, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see where the yeah, where 2020 takes tomorrow? us. Who's coming tomorrow? I don't know. You'll see. Yeah, we're not going to really name names on yeah. this show. But I, I know guess. it. Yeah. I guess. We can find out after. Huh. <laughs> Just look, watch for Jared's Instagram. He'll, yeah, yeah, he'll yeah, put yeah, her on yeah, there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, she'll definitely, I, she'll I definitely show up. That's funny. I do that all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just put, like, uh, my friend from high school uh, that I hung out with last year when I was out here, um, when I stayed in, like, March, like, like over a year ago. Yeah. Um, I had never posted any of the pictures of her and I, and then I just ran three back-to-back -back stories of three photos. Yeah, of yeah, I, I yeah. remember that. And everybody was just like, "What?" Yeah, like what especially friends from high school. Like, w you did what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you were with who? She was popular and hot. I loved her. In yeah. High school. What's your story now? Uh, she she, she lives in Raleigh. No, she, single. Oh, all Works right. In Raleigh. Did you guys end up hooking up? I don't know. No, no one. Knows. I can't tell. Wow. <laughs> I don't wow. think Jared ever doesn't hook up. Uh, yeah, I believe um, one girl recently who was who is a doctor. By okay. The way, um, she was confiding <laughs> in so me about cagey. a guy that she had. I guess she's the way that she's like explaining the story. I was literally just like, yeah, you, you led that on too long. Like she's like, I mean, we hang out like three to five times a week and like, and we plan this trip to Japan together. And like, then he told me like he wanted to be romantically involved. And I was like, no, I'm not into you like that. And he canceled the trip. I'm like, yeah, duh. I said, I ain't flying a transatlantic flight without a girl I ain't fingering. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that one. Any, but like, I think, yeah, I get I that think one. every girl understands. I am not going. And I've told this. I have another girl that's like, oh, I just want to be friends. I'm like, I'm not going to be friends with a fucking girl. No. Like, I've definitely been kicked I'm out of a house because I was like. I'm 34 years old. I don't need another fucking friend. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I, especially on a, on a trip like that where you're like, it, it's it's like that meme of like, when she says she loves loves to travel in her yeah. descriptions, <laughs> yeah. but you know she doesn't have a job, and it's just like, well, <laughs> there's a reason why you're on all those trips. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I reposted that. Um, Kirill had posted yeah, that. Yeah, it's so good. Somebody from high school unfriended me. That's that exactly travels a lot? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, that's a thing. It is a thing. I mean, I did not know how much it was a thing until I saw that. And I was dude, just like, oh, so shit. Those girls that have a few million Instagram followers, like Saudi princes and shit like that. Just, yeah. hey, 30 grand a day if yep. you come out here and hang out. 100%. Hang and out. I think the code is like yacht. Yachting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yacht yeah. season. Yeah, yacht season. And uh, I mean, we should go to Yacht Week. There was it's one. There was, hey, week. hey, do you know about this? The, yes, and there was one we had on the show. And I, I, I said to her on the show, I said, "Hey, on Drinking Bros, I said, hey, have you ever been offered to get money for?" The, and she was just like disgusted by it or whatever. And I was just like, "Oh, sorry if, if I offended you or whatever." Blah blah blah. Sixty days later, I saw her on a fucking yacht. Over on there, a yacht. And I was just like, you don't get oh, on a yacht yeah, for yeah. just. You don't get on a yacht. You don't get in a, in a yacht for nothing. And, and where is it? Uh, Saudi Arabia or doesn't matter. Yeah. UAE. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying as drinking brews Dubai. Hosts, Dubai. I think you, me, and Dan need to go do yacht week in Croatia. It's five thousand dollars for our own yacht. Okay. And chef. And then the captain. And they drive us for one week to the different EDM concerts on the outskirts of Croatia. They do it every March. No. Yeah, Jesse would be super stoked about that. You yeah. could come. Maybe. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> it was an awesome invitation, Jared. Listen, we need to go to Yacht Week. It's a drinking party. We should be, we should review it. Is it like hey, Havasu, but in Croatia? It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, but, but you also travel. So like you start at one port and you move to a different one and you move to a different one. And you just, so every oh, day wait, you're, you're, on you're a sailing. Boat. Yeah. I yeah, you're on a boat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, you couldn't do it. Yeah, but you're on your own boat. It's We're a on smaller boat. boat? Yeah, it's a smaller boat. No, I can't. 
<laughs> no, it's got a chef though. No, Jesse's mm, gets. I'll puke uh, up everything they cook. Yeah, yeah. Seasickness. She gets seasickness. Oh, could yeah. you imagine? We just Dude, get that video that of you throwing up all over me while I'm just laying down laughing. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that old video. <laughs> that old video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Think that old many, Instagram. People yeah. would love that. Out they Instagram probably video. would love that. We just put it at the end of like the the. Hey, that's a nice cup. You know where we keep giving the cup back and forth, oh, and it hard cuts to Jesse just barfing dude. all over mm-hmm. me. Jesus Christ! Look, that's uh, that's the next level of porn: puking on someone. That's pretty We've standard. talked about scat porn on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Times. I think right, we've I, talked about it things we need to discuss things we need to do for 2020. Okay. I think uh, we should document an entire from cold open to first date with me. Like, so I'll find somebody online, yeah. mm-hmm. message them, and we have a camera crew just film the entire process. Yeah. <laughs> Go on the first date. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I like that. I, I like that. And he sends the text, pack your bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. wait, yeah. And maybe see what you guys they say. you guys plan a trip, and then I have to execute it with somebody that I don't know. That would be funny. So if I was if I was planning this trip, because if, if if you want to start it off, if you're going to see if you guys are compatible, Flagstaff. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> Flagstaff fine. is where you need to go to go see to if Flagstaff, you... right? <laughs> yeah. But um, make sure that's a that's a three stopper on that flight. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way, so it's you need just a three like, stop. Yeah. Oh, we need three yeah, layovers. Yeah, you can't be, three layovers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, that, so this really is this is the list that you, Dan, and Jesse have to create. One hundred percent. You have to go. Okay. It's like chop. The, yeah. yeah. This is the this is the drinking bros date challenge. So we find this restaurant. The, you have to eat there. This well, is what you have to order. I, but yeah. I, I think I because I think if you go through multiple levels of this, right? So let's let's say Grand Canyon to start with, right? Instead of Flagstaff, uh, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Three stops there. Right. Um, you get there. We get you that donkey down. You know how they, yeah. they you yeah. donkey down into the, the canyon. Yep. Yeah. And then and we then you take have to the camp. donkey away from you. Yeah, yeah. We well, have to camp and live there for like two <laughs> or three days. walk back up. Yeah. I've done this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you oh, have? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. military. Yeah. We, but we walked down. We get a fucking donkey. And I fucking almost died. Oh, really? Yeah. So now you get a donkey down with this girl. And then... You figure it out once you're down there. See how that goes. Mm-hmm. Um, I, are you with other people? Is that how that works? When you do the, when you donkey yeah, down? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a it's not a an isolated thing. Well, what you if, what if you put tent, us on right? a train? What if we fly three stops somewhere mm-hmm. to get on a train? Yep, in a oh. small <laughs> like one bunk. Like yeah. Right now, yeah, get your wheels yes, turned yes, on yes, this. Yes, yes, yes. Like, well, you donkey down, then you donkey up, and then boom, you get on that train. Yeah, this tr- the train has to be part we of it. We are filming. Can we be in your ear and like Absolutely. make you say stuff and do stuff? I mean, well, making me say that's a little more stuff. impractical jokers. Yeah. But yeah. Like, I want it to be real. Uh, yeah. But so I, we'll just be filming it then. Yes. And, and you'll then have, you have your to, itinerary. You have to, yes. And you have a checklist. She doesn't have it. No, you she, doesn't have, she doesn't have the checklist. I have the checklist. You guys have given me milestones we have to reach. And, and then yeah. we can we do some achieve. impromptu stuff, too. So we're going to send you things. Too. Yeah. So we have to create a point scale. And I'm trying to achieve a certain amount of points. So there are you and Dan and you create like levels. Like the master level is, you know, like, you know, getting her to talk about anal like the first dinner. Ugh. Like something, something, yeah, something yeah, yeah. that's something that's risky to attempt. Sure. But it's worth it. The points value is higher. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, of course. yeah, but the risk yeah. isn't even that high on that one, no, and it's they not. will like you, raise yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like spill wine on her. If you, <gasps> <laughs> and that's like ten thousand points. <laughs> yeah. Like, because if I'm and able see how she at the reacts beginning to it, of, yeah. yeah, at the beginning of the evening, spill wine on her. Yes. <laughs> and see <laughs> how she handles that. If we took away your cell phone too, so yes. you wouldn't be able okay, to look so at. Okay, so for yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. you Anything. take away my phone. Oh boy. And you and she has to forfeit hers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, so this is this is this is a whole challenge. That would be just absolutely devastating, dude. No. There's no well, way you'd make it. Well, they never find their way anywhere. Like you need a phone. No. No, we'd be fine. Everything's planned out. If everything's planned, yeah. yeah. What are you going to get a map? How are you going to get an Uber? How are you going to fucking I mean, okay, he doesn't have to physically take the phone away, but oh, okay, the rule well, is you like, have it, you the will camera look crew's at it. there, you know if I'm Yeah, okay. the camera crew will be like, so we'll have somebody so that, like, we give the phones to the camera crew. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, and if we need an Uber or a map or anything like that, the camera or we crew could has do like phone. a dog collar or something, and so every time you look at it, we zap you. Yeah, we shock you. <laughs> we shock you. I just want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be controlling that from Jesse somewhere. just shocks. But people. this is Keep this is this. So, <laughs> so yes, Grand Canyon camping. Yeah. Kay. Get on a train to Colorado. Yeah. You like Colorado. Well, I just Grand Canyon, Colorado. That's a thing. Like that's that. that We're gonna is a have train. to set up for you to run into X's along the way as well, and see how Oof, that. There's one in Colorado. Gets handled. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. You're gonna have. Her yeah, because she needs stuff. to be able to handle like meeting up with girls that you've boned because they will do that. Yeah. It's part of your life. Well, I mean, if she starts at the house, is there one here? Blamo, yeah. No, I, no. I, just, I saw a, an image of a girl back there, and I was like, "Motherfucker, do you Sorry. have a new one here?" <laughs> Sorry, Danny. And I was like, "Shit, I, I can't see over the thing." I just yeah. saw a. He just said, "Is there one here?" Well, I just see <laughs> He's this like, little. I, I yeah, smell good thing, a woman. Good thing it's not. Hey, babe, yeah, I just come right a... in. Everybody's expecting you. Is that one right Is there? That yeah, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a piece of uh, loose roast beef right there? God damn it, man. Um, <laughs> so, so yes, train to or I love the train, train to San Francisco. Idea. There's a train to San Francisco, yep. and then Oof. I could go to my hometown. And you could shit in the street. Oh, and like, like make can, her walk through where yeah, everyone go back shits. To my, yeah, yeah, my hometown. Of oh, us, and then cerebral Posbo. Or we, yeah, yeah, we could. We, how do we get to the Grand Canyon? Hopefully, the, maybe there's a train that goes to Washington. Or Portland, there at is. least. Portland. Then we have to yes, rent a car. Is. Yeah. Yes, we can do a Grand Canyon to Portland. But a small we, one. We rent a car because smart then it's car. a drive from Portland mm-hmm. to Paul's The tiniest car you can find. Yes, yeah, smart car. So that's 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 it. We have to do a three-stop, three-layover flight together. Yep. Get in a train. And then rent a car and do a road trip to yeah. Paul's Bow and you, end you, in my hometown you, and sit in the bar with all my fucking high school friends and still go there. And you have to fucking dump out in the streets of San Fran. No, I'm not doing in that. front of her. He Come won't on. do that. Um, what? But you I can. It's legal. To. I'm just I don't saying. Want to. But I mean, that would end the yeah. relationship. Like, it has to be stuff that's like you're you're trying to see what this girl can handle. You're not going to fucking shit in front of yeah, her. Yeah, it's like well, it's like get her it's to sing. To see get her what, to sing what karaoke. What she can handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what's her karaoke song? Her, you know, you're just going to get to know her. Sign her up for an open mic at a stand-up yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, really put her through the ringer. Yeah, that sounds all of it. All sounds for awful. the grand prize of Jared. <laughs> like, Surprise! So you get how nothing. How about this though? Once we once we come up with the trip, yeah, we just put this on the website with a form, and you guys get to pick. We uh, who pick? the girl is? Yeah, you pick the girl. Well, here's the thing: I, I already know what I'm picking. Then I'm picking anyone who any girl who sends in a black and white photo. Because whenever you send <laughs> no, in a black and you white, do not, it's you're not trying to get me to not want to be on this thing. Yeah, like you we bet, want it you, to you be. You guys like all have good. to pick something that like I'm gonna want to try. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what are is... we calling this adventure? You think of good names for stuff. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is 50 first dates. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. That's what we call it 50 first yeah, dates. Train wreck. wreck. Yeah, that's, that's uh, a good Andy one. Schumer's movie. Um, Jared's train wreck adventure. Yeah. I like 50 first dates because you're essentially cramming I like the th- first oh, yeah, 50 yeah. days of <laughs> I like three layovers in a train. Because um, <laughs> that'll pretty much end it all the way around. Jared's freight train. Yeah. I like train wreck. That drinking bros train wreck. Three layovers. Oh. I mean, is for this me a, is... is this a series? Like, do we do like I know, a, do we do out, I mean there's a yeah, because there's gonna be a lot. Actually, this could be like an eight parter. Oh, easily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've Just already got applications is, coming in. Yeah, there's a lot of girls who would actually do this. Oh yeah. yeah. Especially in well, Drinking Bros Singles. Let's let's have you ran through everybody in Drinking Bros Singles? No, not yet. Yeah. Okay. I'm just checking. New ones pop up long. every day. That's right. That's true. I mean, me and Dan call ourselves Eskimo conjoined twins. Oh. Yeah, because there's a lot of shared experiences. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the double digits. Really? <laughs> oh, if you're Eskimo conjoined twins, that means you shared so many yeah, women. Got you, got you, yeah, got yeah, you, yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Wow, double digits. <laughs> and why not? <laughs> yeah. You're young. It gives us a Life lot to talk is about. Short. Yeah. I mean, even when we're just it's like, hey, remember that one? And like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, James, you get a crime corner today? Oh, I do. Do you really? I do. I was just asking. That's oh great. yeah, no, I do. You ready? Yeah. Crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> Crime corner. Um, this is from Detective Devil D. Saint. Ah, all right. Alanasia. Anyways, New Orleans. There you go. 
Who is that? Devil D. Saint. Yeah, I don't know. Could um, be. But anyways, good work, detective. Okay, yeah. so woman pulled over for having man in dog cage in the back. I don't see that as being illegal. Jesus, Jared. What? If you get her sick, the whole no, house no, collapses. No, he's coughing in the middle of my fucking story. Yeah. Uh, man in dog cage in back of truck. So a Florida woman, of course. Of course. Practicing either misguided passenger safety methods or set, uh, some extremely public dom sub, which I think is probably the answer, right? It's yeah. probably like some you dom want to talk sub about some situation. extremely public safety, like man, like I remember when I was ten years old, my aunt's boyfriend put me in the back of his El Camino uh-huh. and just clipped something to my belt loop. Yeah, well, that was ah. clipped to the floor. He's like, ah, oh, you'll be good. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have fallen out. It's an El Camino for you, though. <laughs> I like it. El Camino it. gets you. I like it. I yeah. think it's a good idea. Yeah, I do, too. All right. So, yeah, what, they're not really sure what's going on here. I mean, they arrested them, but she had, it's in Polk County, she had a man locked in a dog cage um, in the back of her truck. Mm. Yeah, what is the crime? Well, I don't think you can do that. Can you? <coughs> Why? In Florida, you're allowed to ride in the She beds was pulled of over for it, so I guess it doesn't say that she was arrested. I mean, if they asked arrested. the guy, hey, are you in there voluntarily? Yes. Okay, let what, us go. Yeah, what did the guy say? Um, <laughs> yeah, the man is being transported to... Yeah, no. So, whatever. That's just a headline. They don't really know. So, he, she, was pulled, they, she was pulled over, and I guess you're right. There is no crime so they're still speculating on what it could possibly be these two are out on the streets to this day this Wait, is disgusting. yeah like yeah, so so, it's so disgusting so what do you what do you do you pull over and you say sir why are you in a dog cage why in the back? In a dog cage? and if he just says because i want to be is that it are we no, moving on it. at that point because you can ride in the back of a pickup truck you yes, can in the yeah. state of florida absolutely in the state of florida yeah. okay so yeah she was pulled over for something else i guess but you said she's it a dumb. Can't be le- it can't be legal to transport another human being like this, even if they volunteered for it. It's certainly not legal to parade a man around the country's country roads. <coughs> well, I um, don't know. I disagree with all this. Cops should leave mind their own business. Wait, all right, but, you, but you said you start off with dominatrix. Was this a dominatrix? No, that's thing? what they were saying. They're speculating because they don't yeah, really know thing. what the My issue is. My buddy puts is. his girlfriend in cages. Yeah. I would say yeah. that's probably what it is. Okay. You're well, not like, hey, cage. ride in the back, and so you don't fall out. Why don't you get in this dog cage? Yeah. I'm sure he had to want to get in there. What if that's something you found out about your significant other, like, years into a relationship? You know, 10 years into a relationship. That what? Secretly, they want to put you in a fucking cage. And they find, they, like, they, they approach you Warm with that you and say, look, it. yeah. Hey, well, I guess that's they? better than a DVD just ending up in the in your mailbox and it's your significant other getting railed out by a dog. Yeah, I know somebody that that happened to. Same. Yeah. Was we it know you? That, we know no, that person. No, it wasn't me. Was you know that, know that person. Oh yeah. It's um, your current significant yeah, other. They've been married for like ten years. The DVD was from before that, but I mean, yeah. There's a crowd cheering. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Right, so, I mean, but what, what, what do you say of like, oh, hey, you know, you you've thought you've married this normal person and then 10 years and they're like look there's something I've, i used to enjoy doing before i met you and it was putting you in a dog cage and riding you around through the the, the streets of right florida and now you're stuck in that world right yeah because is there a is there a blanket over the cage or is it just no open, it was open just air? open air man nude or is he clothed he looks shirtless he, yeah He's shirtless. Is he pantless, though? We don't know. We don't know. The photo was taken from the dash. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Florida again, woman. Well, yeah. Caged men. Anyway, so that was more the headline than anything else yeah, because not, there is no crime. There is no crime, huh? Yeah. Fuck. I, I would have said crime on that one. Yeah. It's, I'm sure it's frowned upon. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> frowned upon corner. Sometimes I do frowned upon arms. corner, and it's not exactly crime corner. Got the police in arms. Yeah. I, there's a couple of girls you've dated, Jared, who would easily go into that cage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And when we were talking about the white, the white claw girl, yeah. she would do it. Go yeah, in your she's cage. down for up. whatever. Go get yeah. in your cage. Yeah. Fuck, man. Is that where you're going to be in ten years? You think get in the cage? No, nah. I'm not in the cage. Okay. What can I do with her in the cage? I mean, just for like a trip. No, I just, just listen. I like I like that's making more, them my bowling ball. That's more a Rocco type sitch. Yeah. Well. 
Uh, you said it, not me. <laughs> Just saying, you guys have said it on the show. No, he we, talked we, about we have. It. It's, look, it's been on drinking. He's Frozen talked the past. about it. Yeah, he uh, would like to think of a woman in a in a dog cage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but waiting look. for him to come home. Yes, we yeah we we've done the episode. You've done the episode. Yeah, a few of those. I'm not talking out of school. No, you're not. No, you're, we're definitely in school. <laughs> I'm definitely in we're school. We're in school. We're in school. Yeah, you're in the second or third row. You raised your hand a little too early. Anyways, but... what a special episode. Yeah. Hey, Jared. Yeah. There's so this goes on. Special. I just This goes on. I just love giving you shit. Hey, it's fun. but you know, one day he'll write my book and it'll be ooh. Right? It'll be crazy. That one is I mean, he gets to go like full full Motley Crew with mine. Oh yeah. Like Oh, yeah. Nobody's telling him not to say something. And the other like, thing is, is you actually remember, like, as fucked up as you get, you remember everything. Like, yeah. you have the best memory out of anyone where you're just like, no, we did this and this and this. Yeah, that's true. So, like, you'll be able to remember all these stories, which most of these people can't remember sh- shit about their lives. Where it's just like, <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Well, this one goes deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> Yeah, because oh, we're no. heading to uh, Ohio State for the weekend. Uh, we're doing doing some uh, live shows there. And uh, from the Ohio State Penn State game, I called a buddy of mine from college mm-hmm. uh, from freshman year, and I said, hey, why don't you be on the show? Because I don't remember anything. Like, my my mind is gone from that period yeah. of time, whereas you remember everything, dude. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, your book will be amazing one day. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. It's going to be long. I mean, uh, you're still working I mean, on chapters still, right now. I mean, I mean, even in if your you life. just if you just did a chapter for every person that we have in this group and how I my history with them and oh, like yeah. how they all came into this that's true. circle. Like, oh yeah, that's ten chapters right there. I've yeah. said that numerous times. Like <laughs> you're able to connect people better than anyone I've seen. Where, like my because I like I, I feel like this at, th- at this point. Like my Hollywood connections are tapped out um, simply because, you know, out of all these movies, I wouldn't say they were cool in real life. So you don't re- they're not real friends of yours, you know, yeah. you're saying there's like a handful. But with, with you, you were it seems like you were popping up with a different celebrity every other day in some weird circumstance where it's just <laughs> like, hey, man, I'm at Kid Rock's house. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Who's who are you with? Ah, it's just me, like Charlie Sheen, the guy who killed Bin Laden, and uh, <laughs> to Montana. It's just normal life. What are you guys doing? <coughs> ah, nothing. It's Tuesday. Do you have any anymore. sandwiches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can I have a sandwich. Uh, Mr. Look, Mr. Mr. Kid, can I have a sandwich? Exactly. Is it Mr. Kid or Mr. Rock? Mr. Rock. Which one? Is it Mr. Rock or is it's it, Bob. is it? It's old Bob. Bob. Yeah. Just Bob. Just Bob. Um, look, we love when you're on the show. We love when you're in town. Uh, Thank you. Thanks for 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 doing it today. Uh, for Jared Taylor, Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.